atoms, molecules, elements and compounds. Let's go through and do some definitions. An atom is a single particle of matter. A single particle of matter is an atom. A molecule is made up of two or more atoms that are joined together by a chemical bond. Two or more atoms joined together by chemical bonds. They don't have to be the same type of atoms. It's two or more atoms joined together by chemical bonds is a molecule. An element is when all of the atoms or in a substance are of the same type. So an element is where substances are made up of only one type of atom. One type of atom only is an element. Finally, a compound is made up of two or more different elements. So there's two different elements here. So let's have a look at these examples then. This is nitrogen. N2. What I'm going to do is draw the chemical formula. N2. So when we write the chemical formula, we write the symbol for the element. And this subscript number here relates to the number of atoms in the molecule. This is a molecule of nitrogen. Nitrogen gas is diatomic. That means that there's two atoms together. So this is nitrogen, and that is the chemical formula. Here we have water, which is H2O. So H2, that means there's two hydrogens, one, two, and one oxygen. H2O is water. And here... We have methane. Methane is CH4. That means that there's four hydrogens, one, two, three, four, and one carbon. So this is called the chemical formula, and it's a way of being able to express both the type of element and the number of atoms of each type. So just one last thing we could do to classify this is that we would have to say that this is a molecule this one here is a molecule because there's more than one atom. It's a molecule and it's an element because both of these are the same. Now, this one here, it's a molecule, but it's a compound because there's more than one made up of two or more different elements. This is a molecule of compound. And finally, here is a single atom. So we would say that's an atom, and it's obviously an atom of element. That's just another way we can classify them.